Hey there, Cheryl here. Today we're going to talk about a quick guide to gaining world-class clarity. Everyone has written into me so much lately uh, with questions surrounding clarity. In other words, how can you get clear on what's most important during the day? Or how can you get clear on what your long-term vision is or what's important to you? And so that's what we're going to talk about today. But I have to tell you first, that lack of clarity is the kryptonite to productivity and joy. And I'll be totally transparent. I have experienced this personally. If I don't plan the night before what I'm gonna do during the day, it's a wreck for my productivity. So clarity is incredibly important in the short and long term. It's very important to get crystal clear what you need to do and why it is so important keeping in mind that you must believe what you're doing is extremely important and important to you because we tend to believe what we tell ourselves over and over and over again. So it's important that we have clarity surrounding what we need to do or what we want to do and why because we're going to be sending ourselves messages to that regard all day long. So we want to make sure that that voice is positive and encouraging and that it's clear and not fuzzy. I hope that makes sense. Now, keep in mind that world-class athletes and business people, musicians, philanthropists, etc., all those people have remarkable clarity on what they want and why it's so important to them. And if they ever get off track, which they do, of course, then they get some help to readjust and get back on track. And here's the thing, you can have it too. Now, let me tell you a story about Leroy Dixon. Leroy Dixon is a two-time Olympian and an Olympic gold medalist in track and field. He didn't even like track and field. As a matter of fact, when I interviewed him, he said he still doesn't like track and field, but he was very clear on one thing. The more he ran and the faster he ran, the closer his family would become. His family wasn't getting along, but when they were at the track and they saw him run and Leroy was winning, it seemed like he was running to save his family and he felt like he had to run really fast. And so he was very clear on what he wanted to do. He wanted to win a gold medal in the Olympics and why he was doing it. And you know what? He did it. And we can't all be Olympians, of course, but we all have our own Olympics and getting clear about what that is. And it doesn't have to be a giant thing. It could be a small thing. It could be to start exercising and run that first mile. It doesn't matter, but start thinking about what is your Olympics and why is it so important to you? So how can you gain world-class clarity? I'm going to give you the first couple of steps. The first thing that you need to do is to decide. In other words, decide it's your time. Give yourself permission. You don't need permission from anyone else. You need to decide that it's your time and decide that you want to make progress towards being world-class. It's something that's important to you. After you decide, you need to make sure that you get to know yourself or maybe get reacquainted with yourself. You might even need to do this first. These two things are interchangeable, but they're the first two steps that you need to do in order to gain world-class clarity. And you know what? Just for you, since you're my loyal subscribers, and some of you have been with me for years now, so I want to honor you for that and honor all of you for joining me and even the people that are new thank you for trusting me with your inbox and i hope that you're using this content and it's serving you and you pass it along and see if it can serve anyone else here's what i'm doing for you i'm going to be including in this you can um, download or have a look at this tool that i'm going to be including in my book it's comprised of a bunch of questions and if you take the time to go through it it's gonna help you to get to know yourself or maybe just get to be a little better acquainted to yourself and you will be making progress towards gaining some world-class clarity on what's important to you. So, number one, decide that it's time. Decide this is the year, decide this is the month, the week, or the day, but decide. You decide, you don't need to ask anyone. 
you decide. And then start making progress. And by this, you need to get to know yourself first or get reacquainted. You can do this by journaling, but I've also included this tool for you if you choose to use it. It's a get to know yourself questionnaire. So feel free to use that or pass it along. I hope you found this content useful. I look forward to seeing you on our next live global webcast and please do reach out or sign up for a 15 minute consultation. I'd love to hear from you. Thanks for watching. See you soon.